Good afternoon, it's Rachel here and we are going to do a little video. Um, I've been super struggling today, very tired after yesterday coming back from Florence with the kids. Um, so um, yeah, I don't know how we'll go today, but I will try my best. So I just wanted to show you these two um, books that I bought. Last time I went to Florence um, in the summertime, we just went for an afternoon. Um, I went into the bookshop called Feltrinelli and um, I was looking for these types of books because I knew in the past they always had them in Piazza della Repubblica and then they, I didn't find anything. So this time I came across this um, English bookstore. It's in one of the streets parallel to the to the Duomo and I found this book which I find which I think is going to be really interesting um, behind the Medici men, the ladies. I've already started reading it a little bit and I'm already enjoying it. And it's got images, so I think it's tiny, so I'll be able to read that. And I've also read another book, um, Christopher Hibbert. Um, um, I remember my uncle, when I was staying with him, had recommended him. Um, he wrote a book, The History of uh, Venice, the Biography of a City. Um, and I had found, when I was tour guiding in Florence, a book by him called The Rise and Fall of the Medici, which I really enjoyed. So I bought this book, uh, Florence, about the biography of a city. Um, and I am going to read this. Um, yes, it will probably take me 20 years to read um, because it's a historical book. But I, I did enjoy he, the way he wrote um, The Rise and Fall of the Medici, so I thought... I might enjoy reading this one. I'll just pick it up and put it down and read it here and there. But um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to reading those. I found a little bit of laces, but she didn't seem to be um, very uh, stocked up on laces uh, lately. So um, she obviously hasn't, the lady that I buy from, she hasn't found much. So I did buy a little bit, but that's about all. I didn't really buy too much. Um, just sort of walked around, enjoyed it. And, and then I took the kids to lunch and then we drove back. And uh, yeah, so it was a nice day, but very, very, very tiring, obviously, because also driving, it's a, a, well, to the car park that I parked at, it was about a two hour drive with no traffic. But then on the way back, it took us probably nearly three hours because there was traffic. So um, then the Google Maps um, navigator told us to go off and then it was pelting down with rain. Never, you know, I say never, and it does pissy little rain here, but um, it was pelting down with rain and um, <laughs> couldn't see a thing. So, yeah, but anyway, it was, I had to concentrate. At least I wasn't at risk of falling asleep. So we made these things last time. And how is everybody? I haven't asked you that. Oh, is that original? No. Um, and, yes, yeah, so I think I might put... I'm just going to grab my crocodile. I might grab my stapler. I might staple little bits and pieces of fibres and things to them. Um, they took a while to do, so I... Um, I, you know, like I didn't sort of finish them off last time. So I think this is very thick. I think I'll just put a little hole in there. And I want to just put some, I'm going to put some string. I, I did buy, where did I put it? Oh, here. I did buy some string. I know I have string, but this is a thinner one um, than the one I have in my, in my drawer, I think. So I thought I might have this one. And, um. Yep, and use that one sometimes to slide that through. Yeah, like that. So we're going to find, I can't remember where, I, I did tell you, I won't remember where I put these things. Um, oh, and I forgot to link the kits that I used. I probably should have done that. Um, I need to punch a hole in here. Oh, do I, uh, Yep. Oh, no, I won't punch it through that. I don't need to. That's just, look at that, how lovely onion skin sort of paper. They've all gone a bit curly-whirly, these um, tags, but I'll put them in the book and they'll flatten out. I didn't centre that, so I'll just do that there. And I think I'll put some more string in. So did I ask how everyone is? I hope you're having a nice weekend. Um... We've spent the whole morning, it's now four o'clock, actually the whole day it's taken. So I told you that our um, bookshelf was going to be up with the TV cabinet and we had a wrought iron bookshelf made by an ironmonger and, um, and I'm 
maybe will we do a bit of washi tape there and um and then it's got wood shelves and so i'm very excited i think i'm going to use this i'm very excited about that and uh so we've been putting books because you know all my i have lots of old books obviously and they were down in the cellar um in you know plastic boxes ikea boxes and um, i wanted to bring steffi had the good idea of even books that I'm using, you know, for my pull aparts or kits or my, I've got my books that are in my collection that like my mother-in-law has gifted me and stuff. So we filled it. We have a few um, new books, like I have the Rachel Ashwell books that I love. Um, and, um, but, so they're down one side, but the rest of it's all old books and it's looking lovely. So um, we're really excited about it. And I now can have a better gauge of, of the things that I have in my, you know, my collection because they were really, I mean, I, I'm shuffling boxes down in our tiny storeroom. It was totally confusing to me. So um, unfortunately, I can't bring everything up uh, because we don't have storage. But as I sort of clear out stuff slowly, um, I will be able to bring up some more things. Okay, I wanted to put something on there. Oh, I have that lovely gentleman there i wonder if i would like to staple something um none of that let me just grab some of this this is turning out to be very useful i haven't hadn't really used it much and just bunch it up and staple it on let me get a little bit of a decoration on there under there there we go and I just like to slide a little bit of glue under to make it stay down because I don't like it flinging up like that cool and then this one does that need a little pop of color as we're using this paper, I actually really love this paper. Orange is not my favourite colour in the world, but I actually really like this one. It's kind of like a burnt orange. I like a little pop of colour right there, I think. Or up there. Oh. Maybe I'll just wrap it over there, but I won't put, like I won't put any uh, string through it. Yeah, I think I'll just leave that one like that. And that one, I think, is just fine as it is. So I did say I wanted to... Um, let's just put the eyelets away. I'm not using those. I kind of keep my crocodile out of the box. So Because so, I don't always use the eyelets. Because if I reinforce with a piece of paper at the top, then I don't need to use those. I'll put that away for the minute. We'll keep the stapler out. And now let's look at some of these pages. And I can't remember which order I was going to put things in, but it doesn't really matter, does it? Okay, I think I liked... I'm going to clip that one there. And as I mentioned, I'm not... I don't think I'm going to put any pockets in this. And let's go here. Yeah. And maybe we'll skip a page and just have that there. And I might just put a little clip on it to hold it there. Oh, I'm going to add some ephemera as well. I wanted to do that. Okay. Let's see. I could fold something and put put it under there as there's not that much writing space I could do put something like this in this is just an old notebook and I could just fold that like so and then maybe fold it up and slide that in there with that and that can be taken out and used for writing oh I slid that under my thing. Oh, well. Okay. Oh, I love that writing. Wish I could write like that. 
Okay, we've got this here, I quite like that. I might add an extending page coming out as well. So we could put our little bird, let's see what we might like. That was too big, I established. I like these colors with that over there. So yes, today has been a real struggle for me. Really huge struggle. I've been sitting here staring <laughs> at everything, thinking what will I do, what to do. You know, sometimes we get fatigued. Your ideas are not always abound. And sometimes there are the ideas police out there that tell us off because we're not full of brilliant ideas all the time. It's quite hard. Oh, now I think I would like to clip something on that side. Just I did like that there, but I think, oh, I think, oh, look at that. Put that there. I think in such a small book too, maybe a one tuck or two you could do, but probably just having things clipped in is, is good. I had, this is a bigger page. Did I think I liked that one on this page? I did. I do think this is a lovely gift idea for someone. And we have this lovely guy. I want to put him. I'd like the, the, the lacy bit to be sort of peekabooing out. I may have made too many things. Let's just clip it on. Yes. Let's just go through and have a look, see how we're going. So that's a writing space there. And then we've got some prettiness clipped. Here and now I wanted to maybe add a bit more. No, I want to add some flip outs, I think. Flip outs are fun. And that's got like extra journaling space. And then could have something here. Slide that one under there. And I don't like to slide two together. Put this one here. Maybe I'll clip it down the bottom. For a change. Okay, now this one doesn't really have hand, but I can, excuse me, I can clip that one there and I think I will. Okay, so there's all of the um, bits and pieces of ephemera that I made for this. And remember, this book can be untied and re removed, and you can put a new one in, except for this one. But you could un undo the staples, of course, and remove those. Um, and then I wanted to do like a flippy sort of thing. So I just wanted to see. I've got, I'm looking for double sided paper that I've printed. Oh, my ruler. Where's my ruler? Oh, here. And now I may not use all of it. I might, use, I might just use half of it, I think, because my book is not so big. And, of course, I still haven't done my stitching for the other booklet, so I'll have to do that. But then I'll consider this one done. And I also think in this video, I'm going to announce my, I'm going to do a little giveaway. Um, not with this book. I've got some other things that I wanted to give away. So I'll go into that afterwards. Now, I don't want to cover that, but what I could do, I think this will work nicely with this. So I just want to see, attach it there. I think I'll attach it there. So do you know what I could use? Yes, I've got a narrow one, narrower one here. I don't want to cover all of that. This is my side, that side. I'm going to use double-sided tape. I never use my double-sided tape. I always forget. So it's about a centimetre wide, this one. And 
and I'm going to attach it, probably crooked, to um, this page here. Oh, it's a bit longer. Oh, I'm going to have sticky. I'll have to trim it off. Actually, I might. Do you know what I might do? I might even overhang it. And, um, and then I'll put something down. I can't tell if it's straight or not. I'll put something down the join there because it's a little bit sticky. And... Yeah, that's what I do. I don't have to trim it off. It's not perfectly straight, but anyway, that it'll do. It'll do the job. I'm going to grab this tape, I think. Now I need to do my folding. I have it fold there. Like so. And I'm actually going to, I don't want to fold it back like, oh, I quite like that. I wasn't going to fold it back like that, but now I am. I've changed my mind so that you, I'm going to put a tab on it and you pull it out like that and you've got an extra writing space. We've got that lovely bit there. I'm wondering, I think I might put a label. I always like labels. I always feel like, you know, if you're using it or for making lists or whatever, um, that, I think I like that one, um, you know, labels are, are good to write, you know, what it, what it is, or if, you, if you're using it as a little weekend journal or, or you yeah, know, maybe you went away for a few days or something, you can write where you were or sort of introduce things. I'm cutting very crooked here. Okay, so I'm going to glue, I never know which is, I always put that way as the other, that's very crooked. I can't quite get to my glue book, so I'm just going to put this with the wet glue. The only reason why I'm using the wet glue is so I don't have to get glue all over my mat. There. So I, like a photograph could be added here or some sort of, t um, not ticket, some sort of, um, what's it called, um, business card, that's it, that's what I'm trying to say, business card, I'm looking for, I haven't pulled it out since, probably haven't used this since I, ca I, I came back, really, since I moved back into my home, um, so probably don't need those anymore. Okay, and so I'm going to do a whale tail punch, and I may punch, I'm just looking around, I'm going to go into my Florentine papers, and I'm thinking, I may go bananas and punch a pink, yes, I'm going to do a pink whale tail punch. I had a lovely narrow can you imagine if I forgot to do um, my little giveaway at the end as well I could forget can you imagine I'll have to come back and <laughs> do another video this is what 
I want something long and is it upside down? It is. That's it. I don't really like that one. Funnily enough, I liked it more the other way. I don't know that I've got any. I did. Ha I do have a long and narrow flower, but I might have used it. Don't mind that one. That's from a book. Don't mind that one. This is all my lovely fussy cutting that my daughter did for me. The torn piece there. No, that's not doing it. Oh, I might keep that out. Okay. So I think I'm going to go with the purple, the lilac. And I might, I might just, oh, I might put a little bit of piece of um, straw paper behind it. So I'm going to trim that off. Oh, this is very good therapy for me doing this. I'm just really enjoying I needed it. I, I didn't know how to start, but I needed to do it. Just to get myself back in the swing of things again. I really like that. That kind of there is um, kind of inspired, I would like to say, by Wendy from Wendy's Journal Adventures. Um, she quite often does, you know, a little floral in the corner of a page. And I, if I'm honest, I think probably in my subconscious, that's what's inspired me there. I'm just wondering whether I want to put anything else. So let's just keep going. I love the pullout. It's really clashy and, and, and well, kind of eclectic, really. Um, but I, I do like it. Oh, I need to put something down there. Maybe, do I? Maybe, maybe. Where's my thing? Here we go. Let's see. Maybe just even a strip of this. Yeah, just something extra there. I love that. The little, oh, I like the little bird there. But what I would like to do is, I don't know why on sometimes on these um, sort of Victorian ones, I um, prefer to take off sometimes the white. Whereas the other ones, it doesn't bother me. But sometimes on these ones, I don't know. The colours are so bold and lovely. I can hardly see, you know. Oh gosh, it's it's hot here. It's well, it's thirty degrees, but it's very humid. I know I said that the other day, but it hasn't changed. We've had two drops of rain here. Um, it was incredible because Steffi called me. I was up near Bologna before Bologna. They made me go off the autostrada at Sassa Macone, and I've never. I mean, I was on roads I'd never been on before, driving across these hills. And I apparently, um, Lily looked at her Google Maps, and um, we were driving parallel to Bologna but I had no sense of where we were going was pelting down with rain couldn't see had people on my tail and I go slow when it rains um, and anyway we did end up south because apparently it was all bottlenecked it was um, Steph was looking because he he know we have find my phone because we you know if we lose our phones um, we we want to be and we have it with Lulu as well also I mean she's happy for us to have it she she accepted our request um, when we asked her also because she, she doesn't want to lose her phone. And also it's a you know safety thing. Like if she's out and about and she's lost or something, then, you know, we can, it doesn't always work, but most of the time we can see where she is and um, we could assist her if she needed help. Um, and she's totally in agreement um, and very happy for us to do that. 
And anyway, so Steffi was checking where we were because I think he was worried, you know, but worried about me driving because it was a long day. Left home at 10 past seven and got back at um, 20 past six. And so um, he said that all around Bologna, it was just, you know, when Google map, like the navigator shows you it's red. It, he said it was all red. And that means, you know, you could literally be sitting there for hours. I think there were a few accidents that, you know, that, but they, I think they had been cleared the accidents, but then they leave a big bottleneck of, oh, I love that. I love that whole thing going on together. Um, and I felt like maybe this page, I'm going to leave that. That's great writing space there. And, you know, you can slip something under here. So let's just say I have these lovely um, things that, um, lovely Pam, Pam gave me these. And I've just, they were down in my boxes and I've just pulled them out, Pam. And so, um, you know, they're lovely checks and things and I haven't folded it correctly, ding dong. Um, but anyway, let's see, something like that could go in. I'll grab another one and fold another one. I found several like receipts and things. State of canvas, here's another one. Let's see if I can fold it correctly. Um, I am challenged, let's say that. I'll fold that there. Um, yeah, so I don't know if the kid, like the Lulu's, I mean, Lulu wouldn't, wasn't, oh, she gets a bit of anxiety, but she wasn't freaking out about my driving in the rain. But I want, I wonder what the kids thought that <laughs> were off on this. We had no idea where we were, but anyway, we got home and it did save us time. So we were thankful for it. So you can just slide something like that in there. And there's some more writing space. And then... That's like that. So I'm wondering, do you know what I'd like to do? I'd like to put something there that will just hold it shut. So it's like a secret spot. Let me have a think about this. So I could do a circle or I could have a strip of something. Like I could put a, that's, oh, I like that. I'm going to cut that out. Actually, I'll tear it. I won't cut it. I'll tear it off there. It's already on cardstock, I really love. And I'm going to run my glue. Am I going to put some, I'm just feeling it. I think I might even glue a bit more paper to it. Make it even stiffer. When it dries, it'll be stiff. Make it even stiffer. Good idea. So I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to tear that as well. Let's just take this off. some glue along here I might use my quick drying glue don't want to go too far into your piece maybe a little bit further because I only have a narrow strip where I'm going to glue it but that will hold that shut and it's decorative I'm going to put it there it does cover the writing I'm going to take that out. I don't want to glue that in by accident. Let's just take that out and glue that. Oh, I love, I love the colours. That's what that's what I like about it is the colours. And then that will just fold under there and, and stay closed. Now, here, I've got that attached there, but I'm wondering if I might like to put a little something, something here on this page. That. Use those. Thank you, Pam. I already said thank you to Pam because it was she sent them to me obviously before my renovation because they were in the boxes. Right, and oh, I could have that there as a tuck. Yes, that's what I'm going to do, and it goes with that because it was part of it. I'll try to be good and go through and link. Most of you have lots of those kits anyway, but there are some new people who might want to use the same thing. Mm. 
Okay, so that's that. And when that's dry a little bit, I, I really do like that. Okay, stick that down. That's clipped in there. That's just plain for writing. Here I could attach something to this. Why don't I do that? And I could grab a... Why don't I grab a... Oh, I've already got... That's already vintage paper. Do I have something double-sided? That's double-sided. That is too big. That's not double-sided. Just fold this. Now that would be interesting if that could stick on there, but I don't really want to cover that up, do I? It could stick on there. No, but then that's too deep. I could take some off. Okay, do I have anything smaller? Next question. Anything smaller? Now they're all white on the other side, those papers. Um, I'm just going to hop up a second. Did I pull out any other papers? I thought I did, but I might. Oh, I tidied up. I put them all away. So. Let's have a look here. Oh, here they are. I put them up here. I've got some double-sided papers here, I think. Yes. They're Sharon's. I did want to use them. Well, I might put... They've got the plain papers that I did, and then they've got Sharon on that side. Hmm, I think one of those could be interesting in this. I will have to fold it. Oh, I know what I'll do. I know. I've got it. So let's tear this from Sharon. It's Sharon Hearth. I'm going to put that like that. Put those over there. And I'm going to attach this here like that oh it's perfect and can I fold it yes I can I'm going to fold it so you can see the rows yes that way okay so let's put some I just put some of this glue on here I'll run some glue along there so I know that that edge sticks and then I'll just swoosh some glue along here and we could add some washi tape or some faux um, aged sticky tape See what I have in here. This is an all-time favourite. I'm going to put that there. That's one of my hand-painted faux fauxies. Let me do some more of those. I think I did that with the Q-tips. That there. And now I need to fold that so it's sort of Gonna work maybe a bit further no that's not gonna work I need to do it a bit further in is what I want to say there and then you get part of the rows here and what I might do on this one so that pulls out like that um, here you could do something and then it's not too, you know, because um, this is a very brittle sort of piece of paper, so it's not going to pull it apart. Opens out like that. And I'm just wondering if I'd like to just add something there to secure it. I think I do. Just to make sure, even though I glued it with the tacky glue, which is very good glue, 
um, no, I didn't. I used the Tombow glue. It's still very good. Um, I just want to make sure that all is good. All is well. Okay, put that there. And now I'm going to put a tab on here. Isn't this pretty? And we could put a little bit of something on there as well. If I were to put a tab... Oh. Um, I wonder if I cut I don't know how I'm going to do this what I would like to do is cut this let me hold it up to the light and fold it well, I'm trying to line up my circles It looks all right to me. I'm going to cut it down the centre. I'm going to stick that on one. It's a different tab. We haven't, haven't done that before. See if I can line it up. more or less and there we go that's my little tab to pull it out okay and then I thought I might like a little bit of washi down there I think I might have a bit of this um, William Morris one I am going to tear it like this because otherwise I have to put my birdies on sideways that there cool oh my goodness this 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 has become a very elaborate thing I'm gonna put them sideways up here just to use that bit and I like that didn't want to cover that up too much that's very fragile that receipt and that's the end okay so we've finished one book and I'm just wondering if, where's my lid? I'm just going to put the lid on my glue because I forget it dries out. Throw that out. Okay, I'm just thinking, does it need something to tie around it? I don't know, not really. It's a fun little book. Okay, so we've got all our little pages here that we hinged. I've got a little pocket there that you could put something in. So I might take this one. I've got this one left over. Let's tear that up. I forgot about that. I did put one pocket, you see. I'm loving the colours. These oranges and blues. Something um, that I don't always do. That can be a useful piece. Okay, let me see my pocket. How it is. Okay, so that's the pocket there. So I'm going to fold this like so. But I may need to... It's not a very strong pocket. Like it's got... Um, I'm going to fold this down actually. And then fold it. And slide it in the pocket. But I'm thinking what could be nice is... If I were to put little piece of something on it. I'm wondering whether I should use it to to close it. I think I'm going to use it to close it like it's a secret spot. Just carefully peel it off or just cut it with your scissors and that's just going to slide in there. I like that. Okay cool. So this is all plain. This is all plain for writing, having fun with. That one opens out trifold because I put it in the wrong way but actually to, it was a happy mistake I'll have to remember that one love the stapling with the the brassy bronzy um, coppery sort of staples and that's that um, one thing I could do here is maybe put just a little piece of paper I think that would be nice next to what's got happening there 
you think I'm finished and then I'm not. I tricked you. But we've recycled quite a lot of things here and used scraps. We've used um, bits and pieces of um, already printed out um, printables, you know, just using up things. We didn't go and print anything out for it. Um, just using things up a little bit. So I made that tag and that was just a piece of book cover. And we've got some receipts and a little tag there. And then this, we just did this, this pulls out. I really like that. And you can write on that. If you use a black felt tip pen, you can easily write on there. Um, love these pages. Put the Italian ladies in there. Oh, we've got this pocket here. Um, I won't put anything in there. I think that can, um, you know, someone can do that. We've done this here. We've just slip. you can slip more things in there. So why well, I think it's quite a nice idea for a travel journal. Um, and then you could, you know, take it out and put it into an actual journal. Um, you know, like a hardcover. Um, see, that just tucks under there. I love that. That holds it shut. And then we've got this um, journal card there, just a journal page, an extension that we added on before. Um, that page I collaged on, there's a little tag. Didn't put too many textiles in, but there's lots of textile on there. And I love that. I love the look of all of that. And then that's the back. So, um, that's that one done. I'll finish off the other one. Um, let me know if you'd like me to finish it with you guys or not. Now, I did say I wanted to do a quick little giveaway. So, um, I've got them organised here. I've got two prizes. I've been meaning to do it for a while. And they're things that I made in the past months. So, I put them together like this. So, this was the um, tall notebook that I made using Sharon Hearth's kits. And I absolutely love it. And I've been hanging on to it. But um, I do think it's a nice thing to go in a, as a, you know, a nice giveaway gift. Um, so, that's that one. And it's going to come with the tag folder. So, that's prize one or well, one or two doesn't matter i'll let you know on the day when i draw them and then this is number two if you remember we made this with the book covers and that i cut up because they were huge and so you just pull it a little bit to open it and it's made with all kinds of really lovely things in it if we remember let's just have a quick look um these oh yeah it's really cool i love that we need to do some more of these things i think um, and so flip outs and lovely old pieces of just bits and pieces that I have in my stash. Um, oh, that's the thing to remember. Oh, how do I remember all these things? Um, just tags and oh, that's nice. Um, oh, isn't it funny when you look at the things that you've made and you haven't looked at it for a while and you, you didn't remember? Um, just using up, book, you know, different printables and things that I had flying around. Made that into a tuck. So yeah, I won't go through the whole thing, but that little journal is coming with, I felt like they coordinated together with this uh, tag folder inspired by Ruby and Pearl, if you remember, it was her idea and um, a lot of fun to make. Oh, and I put an old letter in there, so I'll put that string back on it. Let's see, it should slide on, maybe not. So there's two prizes. Um, just leave a comment below. I think maybe I'd like to know what's your number one favourite tool? How about that? That's the question. Favourite tool? That's the other one. Um, and I will draw it on Monday. I won't leave it very long. It'll be today and tomorrow. I won't answer the comments. Um, I will go through and... and, um, and um, and read them all of course and you have so the rules um, for the giveaway are to number one uh, write down your favorite tool to use for when making journals and um, number two you have to be a subscriber so leave a comment and be a subscriber are the two rules and um, there are two prizes so there will be two winners and it's been a long overdue uh, giveaway to say thank you to all of you for your support and kindness i really do appreciate it um and your patience with me because you know sometimes it's a struggle 
so yeah i just wanted to give a little bit back and um i think i will add a book page pack as well there'll be a book page pack with these as well as a prize um so two prizes these with a book page pack so thank you so much for watching and have a great weekend and i will see you again soon bye